Hey, this is Matthew Butler. Welcome to a great tutorial on how to use alpha channels and luma mats and transitions. Whenever you see videos like this and you don't know what to do with it, this is going to be the perfect tutorial to help you out. So, a little bit about me. Um, I run motionloop.com, which you can preview all of my royalty free files online for download and a lot of them contain alpha channels and what I often have is people asking me how to use these black and white images so this is going to help you out a lot and just to let you know everything is available to download that you see in this video so this tutorial is going to be broken down into three parts this first part is going from this text that pops in and using the luma mat that comes with it to add little alpha channel to it. So let's bring this into After Effects, Imports, and let's just bring in this alpha channel into its own composition. And I'll give you a little breakdown on what a luma mat is, what it's supposed to do. So you have this black background and this white background. What this white is supposed to do is tell the video where you want the actual content to show up and the black would be where it is not showing up. So let's just imagine if the actual video is on top of it, you would then use that white data in here to actually show that on an alpha channel background. So you can place your own background in there. So let's just make a new solid. So I'm bringing in a ramp and I'm just going to make a quick gradient change from black to white. So changing the position of these over one second. And this goes down here and the white one drops down. There we go. Right now it's black, which means there is no data on the screen. So if there was an alpha channel, if there was like an item on the screen like that wow text, it would not be showing up. And then suddenly the black gets wiped to white. So right now, black is up here, white is up here. So if you had a video that was playing right now, let's just bring in that wow text for an example and make it a luma mat. You would see this black on the top in the original um, ramp that I just made, the black is not showing any of the video, while the white on the bottom is showing the very complete entire video. So let's just continue that ramp all the way up to the top. And as it goes higher and higher, you notice it eventually wipes everything on the screen. There's a few reasons why um, people use them. One is for size. If you're uploading a file using an alpha channel embedded into the video, most of the time the file size is two to three times, if not more, larger than if you were not if you were just to use a luma mat. So that's one key key reason. Another one is so you can give people the option of either choosing hey, I, I kind of like this little background here, but I also would like to have the option to have it with just the wow on my own background. That would be another reason why people choose to use Luma mats instead of just giving you it with an alpha channel because then you don't have that option of seeing this like nice little background and shadow. So let's get to the main part of the tutorial. Let's get rid of this. And now we just have our wow footage. Let's make a new composition with it. And this is the text that comes in. And let's say, okay, I want to put this on a different background. You bring this black and white video and on all of mine, they are labeled underscore alpha at the end of it. So wow two and then wow two underscore alpha is the one with the black and white channel. What you're gonna wanna do is bring up the transition and mode. You wanna select this bottom layer, 
that has the actual video. Click this drop down, the track mat, and change it to Luma Mat. And then you'll have the isolated text or isolated video, whatever it is, and you're able to place it on your own background. So let's say you have you know, your own colorful background, and now, boom, you have your own background on it. Okay, so that's part one. Part two, let's dive into the second example. Let's say you want to transition from part, from this wow text into a different one. Let's say this video, which is also available to download. Nice looping background, let's bring that in. You can delete this file that I just made. So we're going to go from this yin yang symbol to this wow text. So you want to transition from one to the other. How do you do that? Okay, this is what we're going to do. I have a nice uh, transition bundle here. Um, I'm just going to bring in both of these. Let's use number six, see what that looks like. So it starts off black and ends up white. So that means that I'm going to use this to transition to this one. Let's bring this video, this number two wow video, to the front where this transition starts. Put the transition on top of the video that's going to be that you're going to be going into and then we're going to want to change that track mat again to luma mat so right now we're just seeing the yin yang also you want to make sure that the distance is the same length as the transition so the beginning of this next clip that comes up the wow text, you want it to be the same, you want it to be longer than the transition, and you also want this yin yang thing to be longer than the transition. So, if I was actually going to do this, this is probably what a real world situation would look like. You have your video playing, and then you have it transitioning, nice transition, and then wow comes up and on the screen. Now one thing that you need to make sure once this transition is over at the very last frame you can and go page down which is the next frame and push command shift D which will break off into a new layer. Change that layers track mat to none and then place it on top. So now Transition, and it holds, and you're able to see it after the transition's over. And that's your basic transition using a Luma mat. And we can easily just swap this out with transition four and see how that one looks. And you'll notice this transition is a lot shorter, so we can do two things. We can bring this footage back, the footage that's underneath, um, the original footage and also we can change this wow text that comes up we can bring that to the end of there and then for the following clip that plays you can drag that all the way over and let's see how this one looks nice simple transition and that's using the Luma mat now this final one is going to be using a Luma mat and an alpha channel because this one uses both black and white and it also uses an alpha channel. So I'll bring all of these into After Effects just to show you. Alpha channel plus Luma. And these are just the Luma mat. Okay, new footage, we'll bring this yin yang, start off a new footage, okay. Open this folder that I just made, bring in this shatter A, 
which is basically the screen shattering. And there's two things you need to know. First off, if you just look at this, solo it out, and look on it on a transparent background, you'll notice there is, it starts off white, and then it ends transparent. And also, there's black and shadows in this video. So that means you'll want to make a duplicate of this to add these shadows back in on top of your footage. So this is what we're going to do. Let's say right now we're just transitioning to a blank screen. So you got your yin yang. You want to change this to luma mat. And also, if you're like this previous version, if you wanted to transition this yin yang footage out instead of having the wow footage in, simply bring in your transition and change this to Luma invert. So then it will start off and then it will go to black, wiping off, and you'll have your wow text underneath it. So it'll look like that. Basically the same thing, but it's different if you want it to transition to like a black screen or a white screen. So just a little heads up there. Back to the working order. So change that to a Luma mat, and you see the screen pops off, but you're not getting everything in there. You see this glass right here that breaks off? You don't, you're not seeing that black anymore. So this is what you're going to need to do. Instead of changing to Luma Mat, go to Alpha Mat, and you get that back in, but now you don't see the black outline, the shades of color that are supposed to be in there. So this shatter, what you're going to want to do is just duplicate it. Now you have it twice. You want to turn that on, and then change this mode to Multiply. Now you have those shadows in there. You could also use darken, but multiply is probably the better one to choose. So now you see those 3D edges, 3D black pieces that are popping off everywhere and it looks extremely, extremely better than if you just didn't have this top layer added to it. So keep that in mind if you ever open up a video and you see this black and also white on the same layer. And that's basically everything. Um, I can just go over a few other videos in here. So this is another chunk just popping off of the video. And let's say you wanted to have another item behind it. Let's just bring in the wow text, scale that down. And you got some text hiding behind the little hole that pops up. One more thing. Let's say, okay, this looks great, but you know, this transition is only a little more than three seconds long. You want it to be longer. What you can do is select both these layers, right click on it, and go to time enable time remapping and you just drag these out however long it needs to be for your clip. So now it'll hold on there forever. Very handy. So let's just bring in one more clip. Let's go to B, the shatter. So the screen, boom, shatters and then wow is underneath it. But let's say you want it to be the other way. You want WOW to be popping onto the screen. What you want to do for that is change this alpha to alpha invert. So now you start off with the WOW on the screen. And then WOW shatters off. Boom. 
You have your little yin yang symbol there. The reason why this chunk is there is because we still have this enable time remapping and we don't need that on. So, boom, and we're good to go. So that is transitions, alpha channels, luma mats, and everything you need to know using After Effects. Now if you're using, let's say, Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro or Final Cut X or Sony Vegas or any other number of programs that are non-linear editing software, it's going to be the same basic technique, but you're going to probably have a different name for certain things. So once again, this is Matthew Butler for Motion Loop.